I'm just gonna assume that the fossils are going to be at the museum when I get over there. Swift running lizard. All right, let's uh let's pack up some dromaeosaur bones. Thanks to the publicity of the discovery, the town authorities decided to establish a new paleontological museum in the closed sports hall, for which they have been looking for a purpose for for some time. The professor was appointed director of the Museum of Paleontology. Even before the facility was opened, I unexpectedly had received an interview invitation from him. Knowing me and seeing my commitment, he decided to offer me a job as a collection manager. I remember being speechless for a moment, but of course, I couldn't refuse. That is how the- Ah, oh, bloody hell, the bloody- <laughs> Hey, did you plug in your device? Hey, let me just interrupt you and just- <laughs> The new stage of the adventure of my life began. I got a longed-for job and a chance to make discoveries that I've been dreaming about since I was a child. All right. Whoa, this is massively open. What happened to the last place that I did fossil preparation? All right, whatever. Okay, fossil preparation. Uh, open. Tr oh no, I'll do that another time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I get, I get it, I get it. So now it comes to the preparation part of the uh, of the thingy. Small crates deliver area. Can I open? This? How do I open this? Dinosaur Canyon? Oh! Now that dig site I do know of, but that would do I'll do that in a, another time. Maybe I might make a series on this actually, this game. Deliver. Deliver and deliver. Alright, I guess we'll start with what we definitely know we do have. That's the Dromaeosaurus. Alright, now, preparation. So, as I said before, to start things off, we gotta cut open the cluster, right? Uh, we cut it open with this little, like, stone chainsaw thing, you know, and then we get into the, the nitty -grit gritty stuff. Now, there are a few different types of fossils. Oh, okay, cool. There's, uh, there's two main fossils that I, I want to point out. There's flat fossils, uh, in which case the fossil is flattenly embedded with the fossil, and to find those you generally, like, pick the, the fossil in half, and of course there's the full fossils, which are the bones and stuff, right. Now in this scenario, obviously it's a bone. And yeah, we, we just crack up. We generally just crack up in the rock with a pickaxe. Mind you, however, to just remember to be careful because these are million year old fossil bones. So you, you want to be careful with the rock and not break the bone in the process. That rock had nothing to do with the fossil. Did we? All right. I'll manually clean it just to give you an idea of what, what we're doing here. Okay, yeah, then we, we got this little airbrush thing, uh, which is this thing. So we, we, we essentially chip away the, the, the rocks that have been embedded with the bones. Um, so this looks like, yeah, it's a tibia and what are these? Okay, so yeah, this is the legs. So what was it? The tibia and fibia, I think it's called. These, are, these three are the metatarsals, and uh, that's the t famous talon claw. That everyone know remembers Dromaeosaurus by, and these are all the the foot bones, the uh, also metatarsals. But what people uh, don't seem to realize is that, yeah, when you see see dinosaur art, specifically in legs, you would always see them like do do. What was it? It's like do do do, and it kind of makes it look like they have like two knees and stuff, or uh, like a front knee and a backwards knee. That's not a knee. Uh, what what you see there is like the beginning of the toes, right? Um, the toes are 
very long. <laughs> See, these, these parts right here, they're, they're part of the toes. These are like, what I would say is probably like your first digit of... Like if you look at your hand, look at like the first digit of your finger and imagine that like really stretched out. That's what these bones are essentially are. And you have the tibia and tibia. Yeah, it's definitely a leg bone. Probably the most infamous part of the raptors is their leg bones. Not their skulls, not the body. Just their um, you know, sm small sized and their legs. And what makes them famous for their legs, you know, if you remember Dr. Grant and his famous raptor claw. I can rotate, right? Toggle cleaning scope. Oh, that's neat. Is uh, the raptor claws. And the raptor claws, you know, they're hooked onto the foot. They're the toe. Uh, only one toe has th that claw. The rest of the toe are like, you know, your typical ferropod foot. But it's just like, you know, just, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, just, just flat on the ground, just walking and stuff. Uh, and now comes the question, the interesting question of what the hell do you use those tools for? Uh, basically, the idea for the raptor toes is that we... The, the idea is that they... Hold on. Let's go quickly. There's a way to rotate, right? There is. Okay, cool. That makes things way easier. The idea is that when, when the dromaeosaurs latch onto the dinosaur, they will use that claw less like a, a killing mechanism that the movies tend to to portray them as and more so like a, a gripping device you know they they don't use that 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 toe as like a ah let me just cut open your belly <laughs> um now the the claw is primarily like yeah like a, like a hook that keeps them on We should be on the cleaning phase soon. It's a big spray. I don't know how it's not covering all of them. But... Yeah. Okay. But it's also important to remember uh, that raptors, you know, they're, they're, uh, even though through media that they're, they're always shown like hunting in packs, which again, I'll get into later. Uh, but, you know, they're not solely divided into hunting big animals, you know, because, again, these, those are big animals that they're hunting. And uh, there, there may definitely be times where they're, they're alone and they don't have their packs quite just yet. So they, they have to hunt solo. And what they do hunt instead is, like, the smaller dinosaurs, the ornithopods and stuff, right? And maybe some other things, you know, there. maybe birds, maybe lizards and stuff, right? And the claw works, uh, it still works as a gripping device, but like as a, as a you can't run type of way. And it works way better as that type of method. You know, while the, while for bigger animals, it's more like, uh, kind, of, kind of like a climbing pickaxe. It, it's like, hold on to the, to the dinosaur's body as they, you know, attempt to tear apart the animal <laughs> with their, with their mouth and, yeah, but actually, just the mouth, really. Even even the the, the front claws uh, were probably used as gripping as well. They definitely had that grasp. Uh, you know, it's it's also important to remember that raptors and other pteropods were arms are prognated, so they're not facing towards the ground. They're like a hugging type of position. So yeah, it was definitely po po possible that they were, you know, just uh, using that hugging position as a way to hold on tight to the dinosaurs and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's a look, good look into uh, dromaeosaur hunting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should I talk about pack hunting and dromaeosaurs in general when the fossil is complete? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll look out into it when we fully finish the bone. But yeah, it is nice and interesting. It's, it's pretty cool that dromaeosaurs of all dinosaurs is, was going to be our second dinosaur. So it's nice, it's nice. But technically the Tyrannosaur was our second dinosaur, but we didn't discover the Tyrannosaur. It just built upon it.
Yeah, so what I'm doing now is just polishing the bone, you know, making it clean. You know, because when, when you look at fossils in museums, it's important to remember two things. One, it's possible that fossil is probably not even a fossil. There, there are many replicas. Re um, replicas are a good way to give you an idea of what the bones look like. But again, going back earlier, the bone could potentially just be missing as a whole. It's probably gone uh, entirely and broken apart. So we may be like missing a good chunk of what we're supposed to be seeing. So, yeah. And you know they're, they're they're into the stone. They're they're dirty and stuff. So you know, good cleaning. To tell you what, when you do actually get a real bone and you see it, it's pretty cool. But most of the time, they're like yeah, replicas. All right, now we're to the jig jigsaw part. I guess these. Phew. Oh man. All right. What do we got first? I think that's a toe claw. I got. What is that? Um, oh, it's, no, I know where this is. It's This is at the the weird thing at the back of the foot. These are the tibias and the fib... No, these are the metatarsals, sorry. This is the tibia and fibia. Get that leg sorted. And yeah, these are the... Again, like I said, these are, these are the foot bones. They're just really long uh, to help them probably run and maybe even jump as well. Yeah. That famous, infamous raptor foot claw. And the normal foots. And in terms of the actual metatarsals themselves, of course there, there's the long ones. They're obvious. You can identify those ones because they're the they're the biggest bone. The other metatarsals, I'll be honest, are harder to find out because they all look the same. Uh, generally, I don't think we're, we're supposed to bother trying to learn about metatarsals because they because they are so hard to learn. I think there is ways to learn which part is what for metatarsals, but generally, I think we just keep out of it. These are the joints that connect the bones together. And there we are. There is our dromaeosaurus leg. This is, uh, what, the left? Wait, no, the, the middle... T yeah, the left leg. Where are you wanting to send the skeleton? I want to grab it. Would you like to set up a skeleton support structure in which you can place an assemblage set of bones? The number of structures you can set up is limited. You can complete the skeletons of two different species at one time. Sure. There it is. Not that big, actually. That's to be expected, though. Drum resource is not huge. Utah raptors are the Jurassic Park massive raptors that everyone thinks about. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Drum resource, not that big. Most drum resource are probably not that bigger than a person. Don't, that's not to be said that there aren't any large man sized drum resource. Utah raptor is definitely an ex um, a good exception. Uh, I think. But what, what was that one called? Austroraptor is pretty big as well. But Austroraptor, Austroraptor is interesting. I don't think we'll ever get to talk, dig up Austroraptor. But Austroraptor is definitely a cool raptor. I hope we get the rest of the bones though. That would be nice. Wouldn't it be nice if the world was better? All right, we got two more. I'll tell you what. I think I'll have this one. Be uh. Oh, uh, do we have to dig it ourselves? Oh, uh, we might need to do it ourselves. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an off chance of either Struthiomimus or Dromaeosaurus that we're working with here. What I'm thinking is, we'll have one person. Uh, I'll work on one one, and another team will work on the other to make things faster. Yeah, we'll get these bones set up, and then we'll, we'll end it. This is, this is the pelvis. Yeah. Uh, also, preparation to... 
I don't have a fossil preparation room. Right. Interesting. I guess we are starting from scratch, so we don't have everything yet. I would like to move move to onto the skull though. I'm, I'm assuming this is the Dromisaurus tail, right? Which, if it is, uh, that brings up some interesting things to talk about. Dromisaurus tails, and Dromisaurus in general, uh, the popular media tends to depict Dromisaurus with these really long, slender tails. Uh, that's not really that much in the truth. Uh, you tend to find raptors with a rather short tail kind of like this you know short short but muscular tail and what that implies to us is that uh rather than you know being a, a, a run down chase down predator which by the way i'm sure raptors are fast and probably did chase prey but they're they're very this uh, a tail like this implies that they may have had a really good jump which you know supports the idea of like raptors pouncing Dinosaurs like Tenontosaurus and stuff, right? Uh, dinosaurs larger than them and taking them down with the sharp claws and whatnot. But that also implies to us that uh, raptors may have been an ambush predator, you know, hiding in the in the shrubbery, waiting for their smaller prey to come by. You know, and they and they pounce, you know, kind of like an owl, well, you know, without the flying part. But yeah, it's it's really neat to to look at. Uh, Dromaeosaur tails, pretty cool stuff. Does this fit on the Dromaeosaurus? It does! It is a Dromaeosaurus tail! Hey, we got more sp pieces of the Dromaeosaurus! That's cool! I put one in storage. Where's storage? <laughs> Was it the skull that I put into storage? Oh, far out. That the one. The one piece that I probably did, wouldn't have wanted to put into storage, you know, was the skull. And it's not even the skull. It's like, what is this? This is the pelvis. <laughs> Whatever, at least it- at least it's large enough to, you know, do this stuff. It, at least it's not the bloody spines that we just had to do earlier. Would have been cool to work with a skull, but oh well. That's uh, that's how it is, like most of the time, isn't it? You know, you you want to get the skull, you want to work with the skull because the skull is the most distinguishable part of the animal. But you got other parts instead, most likely limb bones or ribs. You know, and you, and you gotta recognize that. You know, and you're you're not always gonna find the really cool parts in paleontology. Like uh, for example, when I was in Richmond. Uh, that was like the one dig that wasn't a planned event by someone else. It was a it was a dig that I was a part of uh, for my own entertainment. Uh, but for those that don't know, uh, yeah, Richmond is a dig site in Australia in a Cretaceous, set in Cretaceous, and there, so you could find stuff like marine reptiles and pterosaurs. 
And um, I believe I found, well, I didn't find it. My dad found it, actually. But we believe we found a pterosaur bone, uh, probably a wing bone. Yeah, of course, we didn't find the whole body. But even if we did, we were, you know, we're supposed to bring it in. But still, it's still pretty cool that we got like probably a femur, uh, maybe a humerus. Uh, nah, it's probably a humerus because it's you can generally tell it's a um a pterosaur arms, you know, because they're wings, right? So their their humeruses are probably very long, but they're also very small and slender. But pterosaur bones are also hollow, you know, because they need to fly. Well, whatever. We got the pelvis, nice and simple. And that is all we have for our dromy source for now. Click. Yeah. So yeah, once again, you know, generally most of the time when you get pick up dinosaurs, this is all you would have. You you don't always have the rest of the body, you know. But at least it's cool enough. You know, you you tend to get stuff that is, tells you enough about the animals. Like okay, so they're. Uh, this animal is clearly a dromaeosaur because we have the leg and that they have a distinguishable foot claw. So it's definitely a dromaeosaur. So we pro could probably use parts of other dromaeosaurs to go like, okay, it it kind of looks like this, you know, size-wise. You know? But yeah, still pretty cool. I would have... I, I wish I'd, I brought the other fossils with me. I don't know why I wasn't allowed to, but this is what we got. What we got. Still pretty cool. I didn't talk about the raptor pack hunting. Maybe I'll talk about it in another episode if I decide to do another episode. Again, that's if you guys want to watch it. Uh, just say the word and yeah, I'll look into it. This one, this one, unlike Planet Zoo, however, not Planet Zoo, a uh, prehistoric kingdom. I would actually be, um, I would actually be really fine continuing this stuff. I can really see stuff that uh, more stuff that we could find, and I'd be very intrigued to. Uh, to look into this my only concern is that i feel like maybe the digging stuff might get repetitive you know um and it's, it's, it, it, it all just relies on me just finding the fossil just me talking about the dinosaur of the fossil that it came from but otherwise really nice game it, it gives you good insights to paleontology life it's not fully 100 percent accurate i i think i don't know there's just some stuff that i'm not sure would work in reality but otherwise, really cool, really nice. I, I, it's nice to, to play a game that is essentially, you're playing a character that is basically me and other people like me, you know? It's, it's nice, it's a good insight for people to learn about dinosaurs and, and the people behind the stuff, behind making, finding the dinosaurs. But yeah, but I can't crouch. I wish I could crouch to get a good view of this dromaeosaur, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. And I'm Super Super Marcel. Make sure you have a super super time. Bye bye.